Hey everyone, Mtash here, and I know that I've beat the dead horse over and over again about focus on one character, Mtash, shut up about focusing on one character. But I have something that is going to save you days. I'm not even kidding you, this is going to save you days, if not weeks of grinding. If you're looking to push into the spiral abyss, if you're looking to take on some of the harder content, then you're going to need to do this, alright? I want to explain this. Now, if you're trying to ascend your characters, it's going to be expensive. It's going to take time. This is a grindy game. You got to work for it. And you're going to have to use your resin. And uh, you're going to have to fight bosses. That's normal. But once you ascend, that, that ascension really holds you off for a long time before the next world tier. And typically, with the world tier levels and the way it works out, I think it's actually a pretty smooth process. And the same thing goes with weapons. Now, if you are trying to enhance different weapons, uh, the materials you have and, and the materials you require... When you go and do domains for them, I think that they scale really well as well. So let me just show you really quickly uh, the domains. If you go to the domains, there are different materials available on different days. There's different artifacts available on different days, right? And as you start leveling up, better ones start to drop. And then eventually you can get access to purple ones relatively quickly, like very, very quickly. But if you compare this to um, the other domains, if we, if we compare it to the talent domains, the ones that we're trying to do, you unlock the blue ones, and you get like one of them. And then at level 36, at level 36, this is an AR level that most people can't obtain. You get two. And that's great. You get two of them. That's awesome. And you get a couple of greens, and you can always alchemize the greens into blues. Perfect. Here's the issue. Is when you're trying to do a weapon, you use like, you know, 60 resin, and you've got enough stuff to ascend it. You, you, you pick your day with a weapon, and you use 60, 80, maybe even need 100 resin. Is what it is. Maybe you get unlucky. But you can typically farm that weapon out in a day, and use your resin up in a day. Well, I've been using my resin back to back to back to back just to get one upgrade on one ability because, you know, initially, you only get one to drop. And I'm going to show you the costs of the upgrade rates of a talent because it, it starts getting insane. So if we're leveling up, you know, our level three talent to four, it's four of these. So that's essentially uh, 40 resin, which isn't terrible. It's 40 resin. But then, if you get into the next levels, it's 8. Or, or, or 6 or 8. It then jumps up to 9. It jumps up to 9. This is all of your resin in a day. This is all of your resin in, in, in a day, pretty much, trying to upgrade a talent. And you've got three of them. And if you're trying to go from one to the next to the next to the next... We're looking at multiple days worth of resin. You can't even grind these out in one day if you're a free to play player. And you know, is what it is. This is a grindy game. But if anything, if you're going to be upgrading a character and you're going to be maining a character, this is the thing you should be spending your resin on. I mean, obviously, ascend your characters to the higher levels. But if you see these things available, you're going to want to hunt for these because it's not going to be easy to get it all. Um, you should be spending your time, especially once you get to 36 and beyond. I think that would be the optimal time to do this. If you can wait, I, I would wait because you're going to get enough materials. Let me just show you really quickly in my inventory, how many of these materials I have. So on some of the ones where I don't use the character, I've got a ton of, of the, the green ones that I can turn into blues and I've got a ton of the blues. So you could essentially max out your auto attack and you're good to go. But if you're like me, and an idiot, you're using multiple characters that all use the same abilities. I've got Chi Chi and Ka Ching that use these, and so I'm completely running low on these. And Venti and Fischl both use these, and so I'm running out of these. And obviously, you know, I say focus on one or two characters, but this one, this one takes it to another level. This one takes it to like extreme levels because the resin costs are days worth of resin if you want to max out your stats uh, depending on your uh, ascension levels. And um, if you're using multiple characters, like you're gonna burn 
through these. You're gonna burn through these so fast. It's it, you won't even get halfway. You won't even get a third of the way because of how many that you're gonna need. Now, if you open up all the chests in the game and you're hunting, like you do get a good stock. And if you're just going on one character and you and you know that you're gonna level up a DPS character, which I would recommend, I think you'll be pretty okay. But if you've made the mistake of me of giving a couple players here, a couple players there, right? I've got, um, you know, I've got my cast of characters and, and I've leveled up her a few too many times. You know, she does more damage. That's great. But did I need to spend, you know, all the ascension materials that I did? I don't know. And um, I think this is something really important. If you're looking at your team, you want to make sure, if possible, um that you're using characters that don't have the same talent costs early on. And if you are, pick the one that's more valuable. Do you need cracked heals? Go for it. Do you need more damage? Go for it. But this is something that when you're picking your characters and if you're looking at your team and you've got like two electric characters and you've got two fire characters and you're not sure who to use, this is something to consider, especially if you're trying to push the really hard content early and fast. Like you want to be the spiral abyss god then this is uh, literally one of the big limiting factors. I mean, look at the boosted skill damage here. We're looking at like 30, 40 percentage on some of these boosts. And, uh, and, and you're getting more healing and all these different things. So just be careful with this. Um, there's not much more to say here. I understand that it's pretty much the same as, as what I've said before, but this one has caught me off guard. I have gone through all my resin. Uh, and and uh, to give you an example of how much resin I'm using, I have used all my resin, but I've even replenished three times. So the 50 cost for Primo Gems, the 100 cost, and then another 100 cost. And it's getting to the point where when it's the talent that I need, I almost am considering spending my Fragile Resin. You know, typically, I, I want to save this as long as I can. I want to wait till like AR40. But if I want to push into some of the harder content like the Spiral Abyss, I need more materials. I, I literally uh, am running out. So definitely something to consider. Uh, the ratios of how many drop to how many are needed and how many, and you know, because you've got three talents, it just starts ballooning exponentially. It, it gets so expensive. It is impossible to, to climb this mountain if you're not careful. So I hope I save your life. I hope you, I save your day. I hope you save some hours. I hope you're enjoying my content. I've been trying to make a lot of videos. I apologize if some are a little clickbaity or like maybe not as good as you had hoped. I've seen some videos lately getting more dislikes than I would like. And uh, so hopefully this video helps you. Uh, if you like it, like it. And if you haven't hit the bell, hit the bell. Thank you.